holy smokes everyone bitcoin has just fallen to a critical level and if it doesn't hold this support line we are going to see the sell-off accelerate and it's going to get even more uglier but luckily for all those people waiting on the side this may create some great buying opportunities but for all those people that have been diamond handings uh they've had diamond hands since 60,000, it's going to be more bad news for them but in this video i'm going to be going over the fundamentals why bitcoin is selling off right now and then i'll get into my thoughts and opinions by going over all the data on where i think the market is heading next okay everyone let's not waste any time let's hit the charts okay everyone so i've got the daily chart here on the daily uh we can see the bitcoin has fallen from around uh, thirty six thousand dollars and today um as of recording this it's hit a low of around 31,800 or 31,700 dollars but when we bring up the monthly chart here we can see you know we've been bouncing around this range here between 31k and 41k and it's funny you know when we had the first drop when bitcoin first you know dropped to um $31,000 I put out a warning there that hey everyone it's most likely that we're in a bear market and the bull market's over and when I said that at the time people wanted to burn me at the stake they said how could you say that don't you know that you know all these dips in Bitcoin is normal it's normal for big volatility in crypto and I said yes everyone I know it's normal for volatility but having a 50% plus drop in Bitcoin and the bull market continue, that's not normal because I'll put up a chart here of the previous bull markets in Bitcoin and all the big drops that were high 30s, low 40s. There was no drops 50% plus in the bull market. And you know what's funny um, when you try to tell people that we're in a bear market, do you want to know what the literal definition of a bear market is? The literal definition of a bear market is when a market experiences a prolonged price decline. It typically describes a condition in which securities price falls 20% or more from recent hides amid widespread pessimism and negative investor sentiment. Now, 20% declines are quite normal in Bitcoin, so you can't really say it's a bear market when Bitcoin falls 20%. But going off you know, the definition of a bear market of 20%, and when we had the fall 50%, you had a lot of these crypto, you know, moon boys saying, no, everyone, we're going to go back to the moon. We're still going to a mill. You know, Elon Musk, he's going to take us to the moon. Well, then Elon Musk, uh, he left pretty quickly, didn't he? And left all the crypto investors high and dry. But still, he seemed to be pumping and dumping all these weird uh, altcoins. And then, you know, you have Michael uh, Saviour. They're calling him Michael Saviour. <laughs> You know, he's a smart guy, but I think he kind of exaggerates it how, you know, Bitcoin's going to become, you know, the currency of um, the intergalactic universe. Well, come on, let's just make it the currency of Earth before we start talking about it becoming the currency of the uh, galaxy. But back to the charts here, we can see that, you know, we've just had this range here. So it'll drop to around 31,000, bounce back up. And that's what I've been warning about. You know, these rallies to 40,000, they're what's called bull traps or dead cat bounces. Um, and this is what the whales do to manipulate you. You know, they dump it and then people sell here and then they pump it to 40K again. People FOMO back in. They think the, the bull market's back on all the crypto moon boys start putting in, you know, Bitcoin to 100K and all their thumbnails. And this is what we've been doing. We've been pumping and dumping, pumping and dumping. And I've been saying, unless we break 42, 43K, we're definitely going into a downward bearish trend. And right now, the support level, the strong support level seems to be 31,000. But if we drop, um, you know, below 31,000, I could see it falling all the way down to 24,000. But let's get into the latest FUD, the latest news that has sent uh, Bitcoin spiraling down. Okay, so Bitcoin's arch nemesis, China, is the reason for its latest drop yet again. And it's funny, I don't know why the markets keep falling for this, but hey, this is some pretty serious news, which we'll get into in a moment. But it says Bitcoin drops as China intensifies crypto mining crackdown. So Bitcoin sank Monday on reports that China has intensified its crackdown on cryptocurrency mining. Now you may think this is old news, but we'll get into a moment on specifically 
who they crack down on and how this is affecting the Bitcoin network. So many Bitcoin miners in Sichuan, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, were shuttered Sunday after authorities in southwestern China province ordered a halt to crypto mining, according to a report from the Communist Party-backed newspaper, which you know we can't really trust. Uh, more than 90% of Bitcoin's mining capacity is estimated to be shut down, the paper said. So China's crackdown appears to have led to a significant decline in Bitcoin's hash rate or processing power, which has fallen sharply in the last month. According to data from blockchain.com.au, an estimated 65% of global Bitcoin mining is done in China. So what this is doing is it's affecting Bitcoin's hash rate. The hash rate is going down and that means process times or times to process transactions are increasing but eventually the blockchain technology will correct this and the difficulty to solve these uh, transactions or solve these complex mathematical problems uh, will become easier. And this is another big risk I've been warning about Bitcoin with the global elites with their green agenda. They're using this as an excuse to try to stamp out Bitcoin. So the power intensive process has led to growing concerns over the potential environmental harm of Bitcoin, with everyone from Tesla CEO Elon Musk to US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen raising the alarm. China, where most Bitcoin mining is centralized, relies heavily on coal power. Last month, a coal mine in the Exingjing region flooded and shut down, taking nearly a quarter of Bitcoin's hash rate. This is, you know, something why people think gold, you know, is better than Bitcoin, because, you know, if the grid goes offline, well, then you can't access your Bitcoin. But if you've got some hard, precious metals, then at least, you know, you still got a mean of exchange there. Not that I'm saying it's better or not, but this is just an argument that the gold bugs have against Bitcoin. Also, the technicals are on the Bitcoin chart, the death cross. Bitcoin um, death cross has been confirmed in the charts. And this normally means there's going to be more downward price action to continue. We can see here the 50 day moving average for Bitcoin is 46,000 and the 200 day moving average is 34,500 which Bitcoin has well fallen below and has fallen down to a low like I said of 31,800. Now also for all the Bitcoin investors there most of them they focus on tokenomics. Now I'll agree I'm not an expert on tokenomics or exactly you know the latest uh, technology advancement in the cryptocurrency space but as Warren Buffett says, when you invest, you want to use um, a competitive advantage or you want to invest in a way that you're competent, a way you understand. And the way I invest is I look at the macro economic picture. I look at the bigger picture, what's happening in the investment community as a whole. And what's happening is we're going from a risk on environment. You know, last year, interest rates were low. Uh, the US 10-year treasury was below 1%. They'll print them money like crazy. Uh, your money was getting devalued, so you had no choice. The Federal Reserve pretty much had a stick. They were poking you, and they are saying, look, invest in your markets because we're going to devalue crash like crazy. So people had no choice but to go into riskier assets to avoid the debasement of the dollar and to outpace inflation. But what's happening now is we've got the Federal Reserve finally thinking about talking about lifting interest rates. Now, many people think they're bluffing and they may not lift interest rates. And hey, I'm very open-minded. I know the Federal Reserve doesn't want to lift interest rates and they're going to do everything in their power not to do it because it's going to send this whole markets crashing and also it's going to make it very, very hard for the government to service the debt. So they're not going to want to do that. But if inflation keeps going up, I'm not saying it will, but if it does, it's going to make them have no choice but to lift interest rates. So this is another reason why Bitcoin's selling off and why we're seeing a bit of a sell-off uh, in the stock market. But a bit of a theory I have right now is the reason why crypto and precious metals and commodities are falling so much uh, more than the stock market is because the Federal Reserve has kind of overtaken uh, the stock market. And what I think is stock investors feel invincible right now because it seems like any time there seems to be any kind of hint um, or scarcity in the stock market, you know, the Federal Reserve comes out in this press conference and it completely talks up the markets. So the stock market pretty much has the Fed to come in there and bail it out like it did in 2020 by where companies could issue corporate debt, even if it was junk bonds and the Federal Reserve would buy it up at any price. So... Investors feel like whenever there's any going to be a decline uh, in the stock market, the Federal Reserve will bail them out. But the Federal Reserve is not going to be there to bail out the cryptocurrency markets. 
They're not going to be there to bail out the precious metals market. They don't care about that. All they care about is you know stability in the financial system, and it seems like they really do like the stock market. So everyone, we are at a critical point in time in the markets right now. If inflation does keep rising, and if the Fed does lift interest rates, this sell-off will continue. But what I'm very worried about and very concerned about is the Federal Reserve and the US government, they've changed the way they report CPI in the 80s, in the 90s, and I'm worried that they're just going to completely fudge the numbers, cook the books, change the way they report inflation again, or just completely ignore it. They're going to sacrifice the poor and middle class to save the banks and save the financial system. And I hope we can keep spreading this message and expose exactly what they're doing so that way we don't let that happen. Now, for all my loyal viewers and subscribers still watching, you're awesome. This was just a quick update what's going on in the cryptocurrency markets. You all know when it's a bloody day on CoinMarketCap, your boy's going to be pumping out a video telling you exactly what's going on. Now, if you're bored, I'll put up some of my other videos here. I'll see you all there.